Hi everyone, so this video is going to be the second part of Best of 2012 and in this video I'm just going to talk you through my top kind of skincare, hair care, fake tan, um, I've got a beauty tool and a few fashion bits that I've been really impressed by this year. So I'm going to start with facial skincare and the first two things that have really impressed me this year are both kind of exfoliating type of products. The first one is the Genvara Green Tea Marvel Gel and this is marketed as a kind of blackhead removing product but I don't think it actually is a blackhead removing product because the consistency of it is so strange that I don't think it could really um, remove blackheads but what it does is it leaves your skin feeling very very smooth it kind of smooths away any dry patches any kind of little bumpy bits this smooths away and it's a really really nice product and then the second one is the Boots Botanics Microdermabrasion Radiant Youth Polish really long name but this is just basically an at home microdermabrasion treatment it is quite abrasive but it does really kind of help to brighten up your skin and leave your complexion kind of looking a little bit brighter and a little bit more, um, I wouldn't say youthful, but it just leaves your complexion kind of looking fairly enhanced and it's very nice to use and it's very inexpensive as well. Then I've got two toners here that I've really been enjoying this year and the first one is a spritzing toner and I have been loving all these types of toners because I just love using them on my face in the morning spritzing them all over my face and it just feels really fresh and it's really quick. So this is the Lidl Instant Skin Boost Spritzer. I love this. Um, I love the scent of it. It's very floral and very fresh and it kind of smells very summery which um, isn't appropriate for this time of year but the smell of this is lovely. And then the second one is the Boots Botanics Cleansing All Bright Toner. Again, um, Boots Botanics have actually got some really lovely products and this contains natural AHAs in it so it's quite brightening and it kind of lifts your complexion a little bit without being too stripping so I really like that. Then a couple of kind of, um, well, moisturising products I suppose you'd classify these but the first one is the Balance Me Radiant Face Oil. This is just a little sample size of it and this is a really lovely face oil. Um, even if you've got oily skin you can still use a face oil if your skin's feeling a little bit dehydrated. It works really really well and it just kind of sinks into the skin quite quickly and uh, it's very easy to give yourself like a nice facial massage with an oil like this because it's quite a thin textured oil. The next one is my favourite moisturiser of the year and without a doubt it's the Organic Surge Blissful Daily Moisturiser for Normal Skin. It's a water based cream so it's very very hydrating but it doesn't leave your skin greasy and it sinks into your skin and it has just worked amazingly well for my skin and um, my skin's been quite dehydrated and it just kind of drinks it up, it's really lovely. And then my last kind of facial skincare product is by Murad and it's the Murad Oil Control Mattifier with an SPF of 15 and this is a very very strange product. When I first got this I wasn't sure what to make about it because the consistency of it is very dry, it's almost like a glue sort of texture but that's what's so mattifying about it and it is the most mattifying product I have ever used so if you do suffer from oily skin this is amazing and especially if you live in a hot climate which obviously I don't but um, if you live in a hot climate and you need an SPF but you always feel like they're really greasy this is the one for you, this is non-greasy and it's just great then I'm going to quickly move on to body products I suppose. The first one is a fabulous budget buy and when I say budget this is a pound and it's the Bodylicious Body Butter, this is the cocoa scented one and these are available in your local pound shop, um, Poundland not Pound Stretcher. I've got these from Poundland but these are actually really really nice and they're very similar to the Body Shop body butters which I love as well but the Body Shop ones are really expensive and I go through them really quickly. This one has kind of a harder texture, um, it's not as kind of emollient as the Body Shop ones but for a pound these are absolutely incredible and if you look at the list of the ingredients they're very similar to the Body Shop ones. It smells very kind of sweet and lovely as well and they've got a couple of different scents of them so you really should go and check these out if you want a really great budget kind of body budget body butter. I don't know what is up with me. The next one is a kind of firming product and this is the Soap and Glory Sit Tight Intense Extra Small 
special super strength body firming serum and this is basically a kind of body firming treatment that you apply onto your kind of wobbly prone areas so for most of us it'll be your kind of thigh and bum area and it's got this kind of rollable applicator so like the Garnier eye rollers this is that kind of thing but for your cellulite basically so it kind of increases the circulation and it heats up and it really really does make a difference I'm 100% sure that this does make a difference it's not going to make your cellulite disappear overnight obviously nothing can do that but um, it does really make a difference and it makes everything kind of look a little bit more firm and a little bit tighter Another toning product, which I love, I've got quite a few toning products in here, I like to use these, is the Spa Fine Sculpted, Silu Sculpted Silhouette in Trap Firming Gel, which looks like this. And this is just a kind of yellow toned gel, and it really does help to kind of firm your contours. I've got a full review of this if you want to go and have a look at that. But it really helps to kind of firm up your skin, and you can feel it kind of firming things up as you apply it. It's very strange. Great thing if you want to kind of wear a short dress and you want to apply it onto your legs just to feel a little bit tighter really lovely then another firming product that I have been loving is the balance me super toning body oil you know I love balance me I love pretty much everything I've ever had from them and I like to apply this all over and really massage it in and kind of help increase circulation and it really does help your body kind of feel really moisturized and it just feels a little bit kind of smoother and more defined if that makes sense that's a really lovely one and then my favorite body scrub of the year has been the soap and glory pulp friction this is actually my second um tube of this i really 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 like it it's kind of got a kind of masculine scent and it's very different in the fact that it's got a thick consistency it's similar to toothpaste I would say um, and it kind of foams up but it's quite grainy and it is very very exfoliating it's a great one before you use fake tan because it doesn't leave any oily residue either and another soap and glory product I haven't actually got with me because I haven't been using it recently I ran out and I didn't repurchase because I was using something else is the soap and glory peaches and clean cleanser I didn't like it at first but once I started using it as a mask rather than just leaving it on for a couple of minutes and rinsing it off as a cleanser I actually do really really like that and that's a great product that I've um, discovered this year so I will be repurchasing that later on in the year no doubt then for nails I have got four nail polishes here some of these are just the color itself some represent the brand the first one is representing its entire brand and it's the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure Nail Polishes. This colour is in Dolphinium but what I love about this is the brush of these is amazing. They're very opaque and the brush is one of those brushes like the Rimmel I think it's the Pro Lycra ones, but I'm not 100% sure. You can kind of coat an entire nail with one brush stroke, and I love that. So I love all of these. Um, there's a red one that they do that's really lovely, and I have also bought these quite often from my local pound shop because if you buy them in boots, they're about £7, and they have the exact same ones in the pound shop. Another one that's here representing its um, line is the Revlon Nail Enamels. This one is in the colour Bailey Peach, which is just a nice kind of nudie colour. But these are really nice shades. They go on really nicely. The only thing I do think about Revlon Nail Polishes is, is that they're really overpriced. They're pretty much the same as Essie, and I think I like Essie Nail Polishes better. Which brings me to my next one, which is Essie Cute as a Button. I love this colour, it's just the perfect kind of tropical pink um, corally type of colour, really pretty. Love the application of this, but again I think they're overpriced, I don't think they last any longer than the likes of Barry M, but the colour of this is beautiful. And then last but not least, again this colour is by Killer Colours and it's in the colour Firewater and it's just this kind of deep plummy purple, really nice on toes and it's a really good um, winter sort of colour because it's vampy but it's not too draining like black can sometimes be. 
And then for tan of the year, I've got two products here. The first one is by Make Believe Beauty and it's their self tan lotion with bronzer. I've done a full review of this, so go and have a look at that if you want to know more. But it's just a really nice moisturising tan. It doesn't last the longest, but no tan except for Zen Tan lasts very long on me and that fades really badly and I don't like it. So... I do really love this, I just wish it lasted a little bit longer. And then another one that I really like is the Sun Labs Self Tanning Lotion in Very Dark. I've been using this on my face, what I do is I put some on a cotton pad and then take it all over my face and it doesn't break me out and it gives a nice tan. Um, it is nice on your body but I've got other tans that I prefer to use on my body, I save this one to use on my face. And then last but not least, the last hair product. I've only got one hair product this year, which is kind of shocking, but I just haven't really found anything that I've absolutely loved. And the product I'm going to mention is the Boots Curl Cream, and this has actually been discontinued. And my local boots still have them, some local boots do still have them, so if you do want to try this definitely get down to your local, local boots and try and get it as soon as you can because they do um, not have them in all boots anymore and they've been discontinued and it's very hard to find a product that's very similar to this. The Herbal Essences Tussle Me Softly, I can't think of the full name of it, it's in a purple tub, that's kind of similar but not as good as this and you will not be able to get hold of this for much longer so if you want some try and track it down as soon as you can. Then beauty tool of the year for me definitely has been, have been these straighteners and I love my GHD straighteners. I don't love these more than the GHDs. I think they're very, very different and the straighteners I'm talking about are the Cloud9 straighteners. This is what they look like. As you can see, they're thinner than the GHDs. I'm not going to do a full review of this because I've done a full review um, about these if you want to go and have a look at that. But they've got different heat settings and they're very, very smooth. They leave a very smooth finish and they're very easy to kind of curl with because of the shape of them because the sides are quite rounded as opposed to the GHDs, which are quite square. So I really love those. And then fashion favourites of the year. The first thing I want to mention is this jumper. And it's not just this jumper in particular, but it's knitwear in general. I have just absolutely loved knitwear this year. And I have pretty much just lived in it during the winter. And this one is from Zara. And it's just this kind of, it's kind of textured jumper. I know it's making the lighting go really weird because it's dark, but it's got an asymmetrical hemline. And it's just a little bit different and I've been loving knitwear with a twist so maybe something that's got studs on it or that the shape of it's a little bit different because I feel like jumpers can be such a boring item but they're so comfortable and so cosy that you want to kind of try and make sure that you can wear them in a way that still feels up to date and then the second thing is this coat which is from one we and i have mentioned before i do get scent clothes from one we to wear in videos and to talk about and to review but i get to pick them and i've never talked about something that i didn't like and this coat right here is a perfect example of just the perfect winter coat it's absolutely beautiful i need to have it dry cleaned actually but it's just navy it's got kind of rose shoulders the beautiful studding very military style, very French looking. And a thing to remember about Romwe as well is that they do have very reasonable prices. Their shipping does take a while because I believe they're based in Hong Kong. So if you don't mind waiting for shipping, then, you know, it's great. I know some people like to order things and then for them to arrive like two days later. That's not the case. You do have to wait a good few weeks for it to arrive. So if you're trying to order something and you want it to arrive straight away, that's not going to happen. And their sizing can be a little bit um, strange for example this top right here I've got which is gorgeous it's just this kind of black shirt this is a large and it's very small and um, but I think it's because the sizes are kind of targeted for Asian women who tend to be naturally smaller I don't know but the sizes can be a little bit on and off so make sure you kind of read the dimensions that's not their fault it was me for kind of thinking oh a large that it should be quite loose and then if you look at the measurements what their large is is actually quite small 
but they have got some really great things and um, they also always have got really nice promotions going on. And then another favourite of mine has been Forever 21, which I went to recently and I've never been to one before and I got really excited and I got my winter boots from there, which were really, really great. So I really loved that. But that's it for me. Those have been my top picks for 2012. I hope we all can discover just as many lovely things in 2013 and hope we all have a great, great year. See you next time.